Greetings. In this video, we want to troubleshoot a carbon monoxide detector that continuously beeps and chirps intermittently over and over again. So I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot fixing that. Usually what it's going to be, it's going to be the battery that's inside the compartment. Now this particular brand is called a First Alert. It's the one I've had now for the last five years. I love it. And the battery lasts a long time, but every once in a while, the battery will go bad. So what's going to happen is, is it's going to intermittently chirp like this, chirp, chirp. Now that's different if it, if it actually detects carbon monoxide. If it does detect carbon monoxide, it's going to sound like this. All right. So it's not going to be like that. It's going to be an intermittent chirp. Now, now of course, you want to make sure make sure that um, that there is no gas in your home or your house just to make double sure so in order to change out the battery what you're going to do is usually it's going to be on the back here and they usually require a nine volt which looks different than triple a and double a of course okay and that exposes the nine volt battery which the majority of carbon monoxide detectors will have and it's plugged in by two different ports here. So let's go ahead and pop this out. And it slides, basically. There we go. So a 9 volt looks like this. If you need a new battery, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description of where you can get an Energizer. I like getting a good quality brand like Energizer. It lasts a lot longer than like a dollar store brand. But you can see there it's got two little ports on there. So carbon monoxide detectors are very, very important. A lot of people don't realize that they are, especially if you if you have gas in your home, if you have gas, gas oven, gas central heating. Um, just in general, it's good to have. It's also good to have uh, in your van or your truck or your car, especially if you're like overnighting or camping out or whatever. So what happens a lot of times is it'll snow, and what will happen is if you have your car running, and then the snow will come up over your exhaust on your vehicle, the carbon monoxide could possibly leak into your car. And as we all know, carbon monoxide is, you can't, you can't smell it. So it's undetectable odor, and it's very, very dangerous. So it's smart to have one of these in your vehicle, in your home, and um, you can't go wrong. And I'll put a link where you can get the first alert. Uh, on Amazon. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.